Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Right, today I'm going to pick out the most disappointing Premier League player of every age, going from 18 all the way up to the grand old age of 38. Let's go. 18 years old, Fabio Silva. It feels harsh picking on an 18 year old kid who's stuck in a foreign country in the midst of a pandemic and is now getting seven lumps of shite kicked out of him by brute defenders on a weekly basis. But oh well, what are you going to do? It's been a rough debut year in the Premier League for Fabio Silva, having arrived from Porto for £35 million last summer. Though poor lads played less first team football than I've got fans, and has been inadvertently thrust into the role of being Wolves' main striker following the injury to Raul Jimenez. I mean, six months ago he didn't even know what Wolves were, he thought it was just something he should steer clear of in the forest, never mind a hub of Portuguese talent. Obviously, he's going to get better as time goes by, but for now, it's been a disappointing start life in the Premier League for the floppy haired forward. 19 years old, Nico Williams. Again, it feels harsh picking on a 19 year old lad who's barely played for Liverpool and seems to get absolute pellets from football Twitter every time he misplaces a pass, but hey ho, gotta pick someone. When Liverpool stuck with Nico Williams as the backup to Trent Alexander Arnold, it was a supreme show of faith from Jurgen Klopp. There was even some fans claiming it could allow Trent to move into midfield. But after a few appearances here and there, it's clear that Williams is nowhere near the same as Liverpool's number 66. In fact, he's barely ready for elite Premier League football altogether. Every game he plays is a big mistake, and that could desperately do with a low move to get some consistent minutes away from Anfield. 20 years old, Rian Brewster. When Sheffield United signed Rian Brewster, it looked like a great deal, even if it was a bit expensive. Brewster had been scoring goals in the Championship for Swansea, and the next natural step was the Premier League, be it at Liverpool or somewhere else. And with the way Sheffield United played last season, Bramall Lane seemed like a good place as any for the young striker. Well, so far, it's been an absolute shambles. The Blades have fallen off a cliff against everyone but Newcastle, while Rian Brewster struggles to get on the pitch at all, and when he does, he never scores. A disappointing start for Rian Brewster who will need to recover soon if he's to achieve the potential he's believed to have. 21. Kai Havertz I mean, I couldn't not pick Kai Havertz. Whilst I'm not about to brand him a flop or a fraud or a waste of money, his start of life at Chelsea has been severely disappointing, considering this is a man who was branded a generational talent and could end up costing Chelsea more than £70 million. Maybe Thomas Tuttle is the man to get Kai Havertz firing, I mean he better be otherwise he'll be sharp joining Frank Lambert on the unemployment line. 22. Trent Alexander-Arnold Right, controversial here, but for all of his talent and incredible assists, right now Trent Alexander-Arnold is bang out of form. Actually, that's not even controversial, everyone thinks it. Liverpool have had a disappointing few weeks, but in all honesty, Alexander-Arnold has been disappointing all season. Defensively, he's been exposed a few times, whilst going forward he doesn't seem to have the same kind of energy, and more often than not, his crossing at the box has thundered away like Joe Root smashing one for six. I don't know why I'm suddenly making cricket jokes, I don't even like it. But while Andy Robertson is all action as ever down the left, Liverpool are missing a spark on the right. It's just a shame Trent's back was pretty disappointing too. It's a tough tit. 23. Donny van der Beek I nearly went for Sean Longstaff here as he's been wildly disappointing since Man United tried to sign him a couple of summers ago. But luckily for him, he's the same age as the bloke who's got the seat he would have had on the Old Trafford bench. Everything good about Man United right now has got nothing to do with their most expensive signing of the summer. While Bruno Fernandes is heel of the hills and Marcus Rashford scores goals and feeds kids at the same time, Donny van der Beek's doing his best to convince the security guard that he's a footballer and not the bloke who played the coach in that BBC One sitcom first team. 24. Timo Werner Just like Kai Havertz, I couldn't really ignore Timo Werner. I actually feel sorry for the bloke. My heart absolutely sank when his penalty got saved on Sunday. It was like watching Sean Bean get the chop in the first season of Game of Thrones. Apologies, spoiler. Well, if you haven't watched it by now, are you ever going to really watch it? Werner did at least have some competition for the most disappointing 24-year-old, as that's exactly what Deli Ali is right now. Well, to Jose Mourinho at least, who comes across as like his new stepdad trying to command respect from the kids he's inherited. 25. Nicholas Pepe It's a testament to how disappointing Nicholas Pepe is when you consider the amount of 25-year-olds who have been severely underwhelming. Naby Kite has been a bit of a disaster since joining Liverpool. The blokes had so many muscle problems you'd think they were patching them together with sellotape and glitter. Then you've got Anthony Martial who hasn't really hit the ground running this season after a strong campaign last time out. While Evan fans probably can't even remember what Gabamon looks like, it's been that long since he played. And finally you've got Nathan Ake, another 25 year old who joins a long list of players Pep has wasted money on before he settled for Ruben Diaz, as if he was swiping left and right on Tinder. They're not going to send you nudes Pep, get over yourself. But Nicholas Pepe, Christ that man's been a disaster. 72 million quid and all he's done is scored a few penalties and got himself a red card. 
Now he's being outshone by a bunch of kids, all the while hoping he's not the next gunner to have his contract ripped up. I wouldn't worry Nicholas, Arteta probably hasn't realised that Carl Jenkinson's gone, so for now, you're safe. 26. Alexander Mitrovic The reason Fulham are still so far adrift from survivors is the fact they don't have a goal scorer, which is all the more strange considering Alexander Mitrovic is still there. The crazy Serbian's been the club's talisman for years, and a fantasy football favourite at the start of the season. Nowadays, the only people who've still got him in the team are Serbian natives and the people who've lost the passwords. One thing you could say about Fulham at the start of the season was that they had goals in Alexander Mitrovic. Well, so far, he's got two goals, which is fewer than the amount of penalties they've missed. Christ, I'm not sure which is worse. 27 years old, Alireza Jambaksh. I had a few candidates for 27 years old. Ayose Perez is probably one of the lowlights of this incredible Leicester team, and he's about as prolific in front of goal as another 27-year-old Michi Bachwai. But I'll go with the Brighton winger, who at least hasn't banged in another overhead kick this January to lull us into thinking he's actually suddenly good. 28 years old, John Joe Shelby. Once upon a time, John Joe Shelby was a Liverpool midfielder. He played for England. He had a range of passing that at times was unrivalled. Even during his time with Newcastle, he's been so good that it seemed harsh for him to miss out on the 2018 World Cup. But dear God, now the bloke doesn't even get out of first gear. He sets up camp on the base of the centre circle in his own half. He gets his deck chair out, pours himself a cup, has a little prawn sarni and some crisps, and if the ball comes his way, he just twats it forward in the hope that someone gets onto it. Newcastle have been woeful this season, and that's summed up by John Joe Shelby. No energy, no invention, and no hope of improvement. 29 years old, Chris Wood. Chris Wood's normally a good bet for a few goals every season, but this time out he's been about as perfect as the bloke who hangs around at five aside just waiting for a team not to have enough players so he can fit in. Burnley have picked up after a slow start, but the light of goals is certainly a worry, particularly from the main man from New Zealand. I mean, they can't just rely on Jimmy Dunn, can they? That's no way to live. 30 years old, Marcus Rojo. The only disappointing thing here for my United fans is that he's actually still associated with the club. I can't even remember the last time I saw Rojo play, but I'm fairly sure he wasn't very good. To be honest, I never really understood why my United forked out so much money for the defender. Six years later, I'm still none the wiser. Unsurprisingly, no one seems to want to take him off Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's hands. At this rate, the lucky bug is going to get a testimonial alongside Phil Jones and Jesse Lingard. 31. Gareth Bale I don't know about you, but I definitely got carried away when Gareth Bale returned to Tottenham. I thought the bloke was reborn, as if it was going to be the Gareth Bale of old, tearing past defenders like Lewis Hamilton on the home straight, only to finish neatly with artistic precision. In reality, it's been lucky if you can get on the bench ahead of Deli Alley and Harry Winks. While Tottenham launched a mini assault on the Premier League title, Gareth Bale was nowhere to be seen. It's not like you can even focus on his golf with the way things are nowadays, poor bloke. 32. Sergio Aguero Willian is bloody lucky that Sergio Aguero is the same age as him. For all the Arsenal man's flopped completely, there was at least some scepticism surrounding the deal. But for Sergio Aguero, the man's having an absolute stinker of a season. In fact, 2020 was a pretty crap year for the forward. Although it was not for everyone, to be honest. Well, everyone except the guy who owns Amazon and Joe Wick. Anyway, Aguero's had injury setback after injury setback. He gets on the pitch for about a minute, then another part of his body packs in. If he was an animal, he'd be taken around the back of the barn and put out of his misery. While I'm not advocating the assassination of one of the Premier League's greatest strikers, the current state of Sergio Aguero is wildly disappointing. 33 years old, Mark Noble. The deeper we go into the 30s, the more difficult it is to find someone who's disappointing. I mean, Shane Long's been disappointing me since about 2010. While Joe Hart's never been the same since Pep Guardiola arrived, he's gone so downhill he nearly got lobbed in a car park by some non-league player. But Mark Noble, I mean, he's been disappointing for years, really. And the older he gets, the more his influence wanes. He's a West Ham legend, but it's mad that he's made nearly 400 Premier League appearances. Never has someone so average played so much. 34 years old, Christian Fuchs. The only disappointing thing about Christian Fuchs is that Leicester just won't let the poor bloke retire. All he wants to do is go to America and be with his family, yet somehow he keeps extending his stay at the King Power Stadium. Maybe he's being forced against his will to sign, or he's just desperate to avoid spending time with the family. Could be either. 35, Phil Bardsley. Okay, picking a 35 year old was quite hard, but I guess Phil Bardsley's disappointing. I don't think I've ever really been impressed with the bloke, other than that time he knocked out Wayne Rooney. To be fair to him, I don't blame him for not retiring yet, because the sooner he does, the sooner he gets drafted in as an extra for his wife's TV show. 36. Branislav Ivanovic Wait a few weeks and Branislav Ivanovic will be 37, yet still West Brom drafted him in over the summer to help their survival mission. I mean, at that point in time, Slavin Bilic got what he deserved. 
37, Wes Morgan. You know when you look at someone and just think, why won't you just retire? Wes Morgan will always be the man who captained Leicester to the Premier League title. Once he'd offered that trophy high in the air, he might as well have just called it a day. Because from that moment on, things were never going to get better. I mean, is he just hanging around in case they win another? I suppose they've got a chance this season. And 38 years old, Petr Cech. The disappointing thing about Petr Cech is that we haven't seen him play. Despite getting drafted into the Chelsea squad at the start of the season, one of the Premier League's greatest goalkeepers has yet to play a single minute, which is probably what led to his role in getting Frank Lampard the sack. Thomas Tuchel better give Czech some minutes, otherwise he'll be heading to the job centre as well. Christ, that's two jokes in one video about Thomas Tuchel getting the sack at Chelsea. He's only been here five minutes. Although I suppose that's longer than Big Phil Scolari lasted. So there we go, that's the most disappointing Premier League player right now from the age 18 through to 38. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to HITC Sport. And until next time, we will see you around.